Hey everybody. So we're going to talk about words in the fourth programming language today. But uh, first I want to show you a, an implementation of the fourth programming language. So there are actually a whole bunch of implementations of fourth, um, so different versions, and that's because it, it was designed um, to be to be set up specifically for the programmer using it or specifically for certain use cases. Um, so there's Swift Fourth, which I believe that's the one that's um, used in the rocket ships. I don't think it's used in SpaceX, maybe. I don't know. Um, then there's uh, G Fourth, which is the GNU one, the open source one. There is, um, there are some other ones. There's this one that I want to show you now, Micris Stellaris. This is a really popular implementation of Fourth. Uh, and it's not easy to find, so this is why I want to share it with you because it doesn't say fourth in the title, right? So, but it is it is fourth, um, but it's just called Micrisp Stellaris. If you just search Micrisp Stellaris and look for the results, it says Micrisp Stellaris unofficial user doc, and it's got some pretty interesting stuff here. This is a pretty cool website. Um, it's got this really cool quote there. But uh, if you go to the quick start, so Micrisp Stellaris is a really popular imp implementation of fourth. Um, for a number of reasons, I think because it's open source, um, then it requires very few resources like assembly language level resource usage. It's very close to the metal, but then on the other hand, it's kind of like C in a way where it's, 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 a, it's considered a high level language. Um, unlike C, it has an interpreter, so it, it works really well for this Micris Stellaris use case, which is meant for embedded chips, like tiny little chips. These things are like $10 for this discovery board. You can look, if you wanna um, look at one, look for the blue pill on Amazon, blue pill chip. You can see I already checked it out here. Uh, yeah, so you can get a three pack, a uh, two pack that comes with plus a USB link for 20 bucks. So that's like, it's literally like a $5 chip. Um, so, just dirt cheap way to get into programming and really like really getting close to the metal programming kind of fun stuff. Um, so anyway, if you go to that quick start section, there's some cool little stuff about fourth and then it gets into how to get started with that. And it can be really, can be fun. Um, fourth, yeah, Micros Stellars, it's great for hacking low resources, low resource systems. Um, so I think that's, it's really popular for that. Anyway, let's get into words. So words are just functions. Uh, in any other programming language, they're called functions. And if you don't know what a function is, basically it's just a, like a mini program. Uh, in, in fourth, uh, as we saw previously, plus is a function. So we can put 10 and two on the stack. So 10 and two are there. We do plus, and uh, so that plus is a function that processes the top two values on the stack and puts a new value on there, which is 12, 10 plus two. Um, minus, same thing, another function. Um, they're, unlike functions though, words are not past values. So functions, you would have something like um, add numbers and then a and B so you're gonna and then you would pass in 10 and 2 into that function through the programming language with fourth instead of passing in values typically uh, a word in fourth will just use the values that are on the stack so um, you know it's a stack oriented language so uh, basically as a rule of thumb words can take values off the stack. They can do nothing with the values on the stack. So you can have words that just don't use the values on the stack, but do some other kind of processing. Um, you can have words that change the values on the stack, like plus that uh, it takes the top two and then uh, adds them together and then spits out, you know, turns them into their sum. Uh, and then you can uh, have words that put new values on the stack, which that one also does. Um, you could also have some a, a word that 
doesn't take anything off the stack or doesn't touch the stack until it puts something on the stack. So, you know, all kinds of different combinations. Um, so words are defined with a special syntax, just like functions are in other languages, but um, this is pretty different. This is pretty unique to fourth here. So here's how you define a word. Uh, it starts with a col the definition starts with a colon and it ends with a semicolon. And in between that is where you put your um, word definition. So the first thing after that colon, well, is a space. And then after that, you put the, the name of the word, um, which would be like the name of the function. So uh, we're just going to make one board. Actually, first of all, let me show you if, what happens if we just put word there. Undefined word. So the fourth interpreter saw board there. It saw that it wasn't a number, and it looked in the dictionary, and it saw it wasn't in the dictionary. So it's saying it's undefined. It's not in the dictionary. <clears throat> so let's define it. Uh, let's see. Um, so let's uh, let's make board divide what that whatever is on the stack. It's going to divide it by two. So we have our 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 word, and then we have our definition here. And it, Somewhere in there, oops, okay, well, I put that on the stack. So let's just mess with it now. So what do we have on the stack right now? 12, I didn't put it on the stack, I defined it. So it's not on the stack. Right now there's nothing on the stack. Um, why isn't 12 on the stack? That's weird. I don't know. I thought 12 shouldn't be on the stack. Okay, anyway, stack's empty, so let's put 12 on the stack. All right, so oops. Oh, I guess undefined words must wipe out the stack, apparently. Did not know that. All right. So now we have 12 on the stack. And uh, now if we do board, you can see what that's going to do in its definition. It's going to put a 2 on the stack. And then it's going to divide, which takes the top two values on the stack, which would be 2 and 12, and divides them. It starts with the left value and divides it by the right, or the top value. So. So just, we'll just say board. And what do we have? We should have six. Yes, we have six on the stack. Um, so there's other words. Like So actually, we used a word within a word here because um, divide is a, is a word. So um, then we created a word that uses that word, which is you know interesting. You can put words in words just like you can put functions in functions. So um, now another thing let's just do one more here so if we put 200 and then say borb we should get 100 and there's 100 so now we have 6 and 100 on the stack um, so another thing when you're doing your word definitions it's usually a good idea to put a comment in there uh, and the comments are just uh, uh, left parentheses and then a space and then whatever you want your comment to be and then another space and then a right parentheses and uh, fourth, they'll just ignore what's up, whatever is in there. And typically, um, you could you could just put like you know, divide by two, and then that, um, or uh, kind of a good a good standard or a good way of doing it is to put what value the word takes off the stack two dashes, and then um, and then what value data type it's going to put on the stack. So it's going to take the top number off the stack, right, from the perspective of the, the word, um, and then it's going to put a new number on top of the stack. So n meaning, n meaning number. Uh, and then if you want to redefine a word, you just write it up again and it writes over it. So now Borb has been redefined. Um, so that's comments. In the next lesson, we're going to play around with some words that come built into fourth and we'll learn a little bit about more about like looking in the dictionary and um, being able to find your own words. So thanks for watching. Peace out.